I'll give the floor to the distinguished representative of Pakistan to introduce draft resolution A slash seventy five slash L thirty six revision one. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, before I introduce the draft resolution contained in document A stroke seventy five stroke L thirty six Reb one, allow me to say a few words in my national capacity. Attaining a culture of peace that is both sustainable and universally acceptable is one of the fundamental struggles confronted by communities, societies, cultures, nations, and civilizations. Throughout human history, defenders of peace have been trying to balance the conflicting instincts of man oscillating between a selfish trait that focuses only on vested interests and the selfless trait that pushes us to consider the good and well-being of others. Mr. President, our collective resolve to promote a culture of peace is all the more important today as we fight a global pandemic. As this deadly virus rages across the globe, it is feeding on insecurities, anxieties, and fault lines within and among societies and posing a grave threat to peace. It is also unraveling decades of work done to promote a culture of peace. More worryingly still, the tensions triggered by disregarding sensitivities of entire communities and condoning offensive and provocative actions have emboldened those who seek to take advantage of such expressions of disunity. While discrimination in acts of violence continue to happen against individuals of all religions, a particularly alarming trend is the resurgence of anti-Muslim hatred and Islamophobia, glimpses of which we have seen in many countries during the recent months. Such vilification and negative stereotyping of adherence of one of the largest religions in the world only perpetuates dangerous self-fulfilling prophecies such as that of a clash of civilizations and thus must be addressed on an urgent basis by the international community. In view of these concerns, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mr. Imran Khan, has repeatedly urged the global community and the United Nations to promote tolerance and respect for all religions and beliefs and to combat Islamophobia. We hope that the United Nations and the Secretary General will respond to this call. Mr. President, on behalf of Pakistan and the Philippines and the co-sponsors, I have the privilege to introduce the draft resolution entitled, I quote, Promotion of Interreligious and Intercultural Dialogue, Understanding and Cooperation for Peace, unquote, contained in document A stroke 75 stroke L36, revision one. The resolution which is under consideration is an attempt to bridge differences between religions, societies, cultures, and civilizations by promoting a culture of peace, dialogue, and mutual respect. It is also precisely for this reason that the General Assembly includes an item on the culture of peace every year on its agenda. Due to unprecedented challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, the co-sponsors decided to limit the discussions on a few emerging and urgent issues rather than the entire resolution. To this end, we retain the agreed language in the resolution from previous years. At the same time, we thought we would be doing injustice to our mandate as main co-sponsors of this resolution if we failed to reflect current trends like the challenges posed by the pandemic, the rise in religious intolerance, xenophobia, hate speech, and the acknowledgement of the respect and significance of religious symbols we were encouraged to note that our approach was supported by the membership. We held an open, inclusive, and transparent negotiation and worked closely with all member states to reach a text 
that enjoys the widest possible support. We have reverted back to agreed language where possible and throughout the consultations agreed to reword and dilute our initial proposals to alleviate the concerns of member states. In our view, the current draft accommodates the concerns of the widest possible membership while keeping intact the original objectives and purposes set forth by the facilitators and agreed by the member states at the start of the negotiations. We once again thank all member states for constructively engaging with us in this process. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the co-sponsors of this resolution and to urge others uh, to co-sponsor the resolution as well before adoption. We hope, Mr. President, that this year too, the General Assembly will reaffirm the importance of interreligious and intercultural dialogue for achieving peace and stability and promotion of a culture of peace by adopting this resolution by consensus. I thank you very much. I thank the distinguished representative of Pakistan. I now give the floor 